Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me a message off my YouTube channel wanting to know how to create tile. And this is the way I would do it. And if you really want to watch a good one, go to YouTube, and well, you're on YouTube right now, but search Corel Draw X6 Tiling, and it's put out by Roy Brewer. He has been my mentor for nine years. He very knowledgeable about Corel Draw and, and uh, the old and new versions, and, and he does a little bit different than me. Uh, he's the, I'm not going to say his is the right way, but it probably is. Uh, mine's a little more crude around the edges. So all I did, I had an image, and I, I wouldn't do this image, but I just had it on file. It's you know roughly 18 by 17. So I created uh, nine tile that are six by six. And let's just delete that one and delete these other two. And if you watch enough of my video, you know I love the nudge tool. So I've got my nudge factor set on six. So I'm just going to select these. I'm going to control D and then I'm going to right arrow over. And now I've got all of them. Then I'm going to lasso all these and go up to a range and combine. Then I'm going to click on my image and go up to effect, power clip, place inside frame. Now that's inside. Go up to a range, break power clip apart. Now each one of these tile are separate and you can print them. So where Roy would do it with different pages, and that's, you know, I might even try it that day. I've not only ever done this one time, um, but you want to make sure your snap to page and then you run that tile and set it aside and run the next tile. And to me, this only really is a, a factor if these, let's say if you wanted to do this image on a 18 by 18, you know, shape with six inch tiles, it would fit in my laser because I have the luxury of having a big fusion that's 40 by 28. But if you only have a 12 by 24, you're going to want to use a tile because then you can print individual tile and when you put them together, into a frame or the bottom of a serving tray, uh, they're all going to be engraved on top of that. Anyway, so watch Roy's video. You'll learn a lot. The man's a master. But anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.